we're back. Part two. Here at the compressed quartz vein. Today we're going to see what else we can get into. I see some potential. Over here there's purple fluorite. So we're going to spray things off. Clean it up a little bit. Get some of this pocket mud off of here. So I can see what's going on. It's already a mess below. So the water's not going to hurt things. Let's see if we can expose a few crystals under these cracks. This is the fun part about being a gem hunter. Getting in the mud. You better like this if you're going to want to find crystals. Well, the vein's still pinched out. I just got to move some rock and see what's going on. But it's definitely showing a lot more purple color. You'll start seeing hues of it show up. Finally, a nice little quartz cluster. Let's spray this off. Yeah, there's that sheen. On the matrix. Still compressed, but look what else is showing up. We finally got some purple fluorite right next to it. And it has a little bit of quartz with it. I like where this is going. Let's move some more rock. Or should I say mud. Hey, as long as it looks like peanut butter above the mud I'm moving, I'm all good for it. That peanut butter color is usually associated with quartz pockets. If you follow that color, it'll lead you to some really amazing discoveries. Underneath here, it's still pretty hollow. So I'm just going to pry away at a few layers and see if I can expose a few more bugs. While doing that, can't help pick up a couple clusters. They're still popping out. I'm starting to really like this spot. You can see that peanut butter color. And it's just crumbling with a bunch of crystals all included in it. You gotta work it slow. They're small, but you don't want to miss them because they got really neat inclusions. And yes, there are big ones. There's a nice pocket right above my head. I'll work at that later. I'm interested in what's going on over here. It's bumping up to that hard purple rock. See, you can see all the little micro crystals in there. If you just look at that edge, right next to that peanut butter color. Small, but you've got to love the clarity. You know where there's small ones. There's going to be a large one. See, the vein's compressed and so crystallized. That's a neat one. It's the compressed vein with a perfect crystal on the side. With a little light in the pocket, you can really see that purple color. I know I told you in the last video to only use a chopstick. The difference is, this is a little tougher. It's not necessarily the pocket. I have to break up some of this rock to be able to find the bugs. So you still want to be very easy with the screwdriver. Because as you can see, it's almost like a mud consistency, just loaded with little microscopic crystals. So don't miss them. Take your time. If you ever come to this situation, I'm enjoying myself, I'll promise you that. I'm just waiting for that next one to roll out. Everything's coming together. The next thing we need to see is some space so they can grow. Till then, I'll keep picking these little aesthetically pleasing ones out of here. Some are perfect for wire wrapping. I know as gravity works out, the bigger ones go down low. I don't want to miss the ones above, so I'm just going to clear out everything so I can see them if they fall out. The next video, we're going down there. But today, I'm going to show you what happened. I'm following that purple vein to the left side. It's really pinched out, but there's a little gap where the quartz meets the other rock. So I'm going to slowly work that gap and see if I can't get anything out. This is where I like to use my bare fingers, even though I pay for it the next day pulling glassy quartz out of my finger. There's something with rock hounding about being keen to your senses. Sometimes it comes with the tip of your finger. When you know there's something you just would never have noticed with that screwdriver or chopstick. And that's what gem hunting is about. And that moment right there 
finding my first fluorite crystal in this completely weathered fluorite vein in a compressed quartz vein says it all. Stick to it. See, there's another little pointy object right next to it. I'm interested to see if it's another crystal. Don't wobble it too much. Uh, it looks like it's another quartz crystal. I'm not complaining. This is just the beginning. I know there's so much more potential. So don't forget to like and subscribe. There's going to be a part three where we're going to take this vein and chase it to the bottom. The bottom's where the big boys sit. Hopefully we find them. But I am completely satisfied with this beautiful, water clear, sky blue fluorite from Western North Carolina. Speaking of subscribers, I'm going to take one of my subscribers with me to this place. Let's see if they can get some for themselves. Maybe I'll learn something from them. Hey, but till the next time, thank you for watching. With part three coming up, understanding what's going on in this vein system, we're taking it down low to where the big ones are. Thank you for watching.